Stormice was founded in 2010 um, when our director Malcolm was an engineer out in Nigeria and he was inspired by the tropical rain and the hydrodynamics of using the flood water to engage the flood seal. So rather than the compression seal, ours con expands and contracts as the flood water rises. So that makes it more accessible, um, the handle force is less and it's easier to get in and out when the flood water is not there. We are the only UK patented company that use that active flood seal. Yeah. The customer will come to us with an inquiry, um, what they're looking for, their anticipated flood water. We'll send, then send an engineer out to survey it and I'll get the measurements and all the details back and start putting together an engineering drawing based off a 3D CAD model um, of what they're looking to get. And then I can send that to them as a PDF or we can post it as long, along with the brochures and all the options as well. We'll order the door base of the drawing um, from a partner, an external partner. We colour finish them in-house, we apply all our active flood seals to the door and then we send it out to the customer. We do international exports as well. Um, but we're also involved in the installation and maintenance side of it as well. So there's a longer warranty and just make sure that the customers are cared for in what can be quite a traumatic um, crisis if they've had a flood or preventing one from happening. When I joined the company, they've had Solid Works. I think they've had it for a few years now. Um, before then, I think we did a few hand drawings, but nothing major. But obviously, with everything going more online, it's a lot easier to then um, work with customers that live further away and give them an idea of what they're getting earlier on in the process and just speeds that side of it along. I mostly use SolidWorks to create 3D models of our products. Um, I find it to be really user friendly. It's what I'm used, what I learned at university, and what I'm used to using. But I do think the controls and the um, just the way it's laid out is quite intuitive to how you go about building the model in the first place. Everything does what it says on the tin. We have also been looking into doing some simulations just to demonstrate our product a little bit further for new customers and inquiries. Um, and just showing how much flood water it really can protect against. So it's quite exciting. So we were introduced to TMS just when we were looking for training courses and that seemed like the best option for us. So we've gone from there really. So it's really easy to reach out to TMS for support. You just shoot them an email or you can put a message on the website and they get back to you quite quickly. And they've, yeah, they've been beyond helpful. It's not just here are the steps, this is what you should have done. You can send their file, they can have a look. If you get sometimes a, a scary error me message and you don't know where it's come from, they can have a look around and figure it out. So yeah, above and beyond every time I've tried to use them for sure. I've been on one training course with TMS. It was on simulations and it was great. It was really good. Um, it did everything I expected it to do. Um, at a good pace with exercises, demonstrations, everything that you need for an engaging lesson really. Um, the guy was really lovely as well that did it, made it really easy to ask questions and reach out afterwards. I was I've done a lot of CAD training um, before and this was stuck with me the most and I think was the most influential on what skills I take forward and actually implement in my role. I would absolutely recommend TMS to anyone that uses SolidWorks in their workplace.